right. So I, what is playing in the background there? Hey guys, welcome back to the Pop Culture Corner. We are here again, uh, celebrating our live in July event, raising money for breast cancer. Um, for my mom, uh, she passed away uh, three months ago now. So uh, we're starting a tribute foundation in her name, uh, hoping to help one uh, breast cancer patient per year for five years and then double it every five years. Uh, all the donation links are in the description below. Uh, so if you don't mind, if you have a couple extra bucks, I know it's tough in these times, um, but if you could spare it, we would definitely appreciate it. Um, as well as become a member of the channel, all membership fees, all super chats, and everything like that go towards the overall goal of the month. So again, this is uh, something that means a, a, a tremendous amount to me, and I would really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, with that being said, the interviews continue. The interview interviews continue at Gary on the other day. Um, we had Owen Gladman on the other night. Uh, and today uh, we have on Tucky Williams. How you doing, Tucky? Hi, it's great to see you. It's good to see you as well. Um, yeah, man, I, we've, had, we've had quite the month, quite the month. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's all for a good cause and, uh, you know, raising money for, for breast cancer. You know, it's been tough. Uh, for me personally, uh, lo you know, losing a mom. I don't know if you do. You, do you have both of your parents still? Yes, I do. You do? Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely take it for granted. Make sure you tell them you love them and 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 all that and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. So, how did you get starting? I because you're a media. Uh, you are a meteorologist. I'm a meteorologist. Yes, I can tell you. How does someone go from a meteorologist? to making movies. I always wanted to act, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but you know, you can't do that in the real world. So I thought for my real world job, kind of close to acting would be entertaining, making people happy on a morning show, right? Right, so right. Like the view. I got the degree, yeah. I got the, it's, it's actually a really low stress job, except for the TV aspect. The meteorology itself is pretty low stress. It's just math. You get to, I don't know if you've ever seen the newsrooms, but meteorologists are always often on their own set. So I, I got to right. be alone with a computer and a piece of paper. And I would, I would make my, you know, you do animations. So you're basically animating these uh, cartoons of the weather. I right. got to be alone. I would just come out and do the show and be happy. <clears throat> and then that was it. It was great. And so I just stopped doing that. And I just started getting acting jobs and I never went back to it. And then acting turned into filmmaking. So, Honestly, <clears throat> I, I have a green screen studio right right next door. Okay. Um, I find it to be the most difficult thing to do. How? <laughs> so when you, and I, I know this is like really off topic, but when you're doing the weather, mm -hmm. right? How yeah. do you, how are you? Well, the, the wind you have is going to be coming. on each side of you. So okay. you have the monitor in front of you and then you have a monitor to your left and to your right. And then, and you can see what I see on on, yes. on the TV. Yeah, you can't and, see what's behind you, but you can't look at what's behind you because you're right, on television. Right. So straight ahead, and then off to each side, there's monitor, so it's really easy to look right at the camera and be pointing behind, right, or to look sideways. It looks like you're looking behind, but you're really just looking sideways. Wow, you know, I wish I had that kind of technology where I could, in real time, edit in what I was doing. Ugh, yeah. I, I find green screen to be the most difficult. That's why when I look at movie making, I'm like, you know, you see these giant green screen sets and you're like, yeah. I am just amazed, <laughs> amazed at how, what, what goes into movie making and what goes into filmmaking. Um, you know, it, it, it's absolutely tremendous. Uh, so you made the switch. So you went to Mississippi state, you got a degree uh, mm -hmm. in meteorology. Yeah. Uh, it didn't pan out. You just, you, you weren't happy. It sounds like. I was happy. I just, this other thing made me happier. It's just life takes you down funny pathways. Right. Uh, and what, what was your first taste? What was the first taste that you got at, 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 at acting? Well, my first movie job was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like actually the worst experience a person could have making a movie. And I still went back. So that tells you something, but actually right. the worst experience ever. Oh, I need to clarify that that is not the first movie that came out. So if you go to my IMDb and look at my first movie, no, that experience was a good one. Believe it or not, the movie was a bad experience. It took it like five years to come out. So, but my second experience then was with a movie called Dead Moon Rising. 
which was yes. amazing. Yes. Just amazing. I wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Forget about the fact that I'm in it. It was a <laughs> video of the month. And it just, it was just amazing because it was such a humble beginning, such a humble little movie. And it went so far. That because uh, I, so I was trying to watch it the other night because I, uh, I had watched all uh, the dagger, the dagger kiss one. Really? Yes, Thank I you. did. Uh, and I was trying to find anything else that you were in. And I, unfortunately, um, I think everything that you, do you have some sort of deal with Amazon? <laughs> oh God. That's a I have a, question. well, okay, listen, I'll, I'll be honest I with you. I, with I have a lot of questions about Amazon. I have a lot of, because it wasn't always so nice. It wasn't always so. Not um, allowed to answer a lot of questions about Amazon. Well, not like. I'm really attracted to not answer questions about Amazon, but I'll I'll answer what I can. Okay. Well, not not like like I don't want to know their like secret sauce. I don't. You know <laughs> what I mean? I don't. I, I don't want to know that information. But um, I mean, they took your movie down at one point, right? And yeah. it ended up going back up and 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 stuff like that. But uh, I mean, we're kind of skipping ahead now. But um, I mean, how did that feel? Like, cause cause you you. You are part of the LGBTQ community. Um, you I make, just say gay. Just say gay. It's like just, a million times easier. Okay. 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 Thank it's just you. one one syllable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're part of that. You're part of the community, yeah. and you make these films. You make these shows. Um, and and I think you do a tremendous job at representation, Thank right? Thank you. Um, and you still received hate. Yeah. From your from your own community. From everybody. Yeah. <laughs> And, and then it turned into straight white males and, you know, or straight males um, sending you God, you know, terrible okay, things. Okay, very few people who raided the uh, Capitol, like, a year before that, they were coming after me. Right, right, <laughs> so, right, right. I'm serious. It was the same people. So that, that's what I was dealing with. And it's funny because in, in, in I, I think it was the one I watched, your, your character is Republican. My care, yeah, she's a she's a. It's like, like they didn't even Republican. watch. No, no, so, they didn't watch it. They said in their comments, "I I won't even watch this movie. <clears throat> I just don't like the idea of it." Yeah, and and so so that's a dangerous thing, right? So that's a very dangerous. Well, so, I mean, I think I'm ahead of the curve because these people came after me first. <laughs> I think that is an honor that I was the first, one of the first recipients of their hate that they used me to build on. You know, you you were their foundation. I was right? I was part of the foundation of, and they, uh, and, they and they moved up the ladder, and eventually, you, and then all of a sudden, they're at the Capitol, and right, you know. right. I was I was, <laughs> I was a gateway drug. Oh man, uh, I mean, so uh, beside beside that, I mean, because we did skip ahead a little bit. Um, so where did you get the idea? Uh, uh, where'd you get the idea for, for the dagger kiss? Uh, uh, well, so was it a movie first or a series first? Series first. And then and, a movie. And then a movie. Yeah. Okay. So the series went to Amazon first and then you yeah. made a movie about it. Okay. Yeah. So, so what did you come up with the idea for that? <laughs> well, I've always just done stuff that people are like, is she out of her mind? <laughs> <laughs> I had this idea at the time when I first came, when I first came up with it, the only thing that was out was Game of Thrones, Lord Ooh. of the Rings and Game of Thrones. And now, I mean, the market's saturated with fantasy. But before that, I said, I want to make a fantasy TV series and have it be about two girls in love. And I mean, you should have seen the looks I got. Like, right. what? what? <laughs> like, first off, no one watches fantasy. That was what I, the feedback I got. Secondly, about that, what? Yeah, so that's that's not why I did it, but I had a lot to do with it. Oh. Right. Yeah. So, so, fan have you always been attracted to that realm of fantasy? Yeah, I've loved it. That's what I liked when I was a kid. I liked He Man and She Ra and Conan and Red Sonia, and that was oh, and then Never Ending Story too. So those were my things. That was my lifeblood, and that. That's always been when people ask me what inspired me to become a filmmaker. I always name those things. Yeah, I, I was gonna say that because I, I didn't want to say that because I, I heard it in the the interview that I watched like literally an hour ago about riding the dragon or something like that. 
Yeah, Falcor. Falcor. I'm not. I'm actually not familiar with the, the film. So, um, never ending uh, story that is. So, um, so I, I mean, I, I, what would you don't? It's not like you're getting. It's not like you, how are you? You're funding these uh, through a certain organization, right? Uh, um, you're not like getting students. The yet. Kentucky Foundation for Women is helping me fund it. Yes, yeah, so I'm funded in part by a nonprofit organization. That's I think that's incredible. Incredible that they they're helping, uh, especially women. I feel like they're such. Uh, I, we're we're getting there. I mean, we're get we're getting there. You know, slowly and surely, <clears throat> um, more women. Uh, you look at Chloe Zhao, right? Uh, she just yeah. won be uh, for Best Picture with mm -hmm. Nomadland, and now she's directing a Marvel movie. Um, is that something you could ever like say? Say the cards, say say that they were dealt the correct way. Yeah. Would you Would you ever consider it? I think that would be easier than what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm ready. Yes. Yes. Um, well, so what, what's your? What do you like doing more? Acting, directing, producing. I like writing. That's the first thing. That's what I went to school for originally. And then secondly, I like acting. And then I didn't even want to be in the filmmaking side of it. So, but that just happened out of necessity. Right. Nobody else was going to do it. So I had to. Right. And then why did you choose the, the content that you chose? That was you could, you could have run a million different ways. You really could have. I know. Well, what was in my heart was I just wanted to make this big gay thing. And that, that character that ended up being so popular, I felt like that character needed to exist. The character I play, Evan, and I originally had a different actress cast to play that part, but this guy said to me, no, you have to do it. And uh, so I think it was really popular in the sense that there was this someone playing a really androgynous character. And right. there just isn't any of that. I mean, people try to play androgynous, but usually they just end up coming off as kind of tomboyish and cute. And so I right. really, I really went there with it. And I, I think I brought something to the market that wasn't there. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Women um, like they like 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 straight girls, and they kind of like the androgynous look. That's what turns them on. And I mean, like half of gay girls like the androgynous thing. And so, right, I knew that that was gonna that people would be interested in that, especially since yeah. there aren't any characters like that out there. I mean, I can think of Shane on the L word, and that's about it. Right, right. And actually, speaking of the L word, yeah. you did something with that. They mic'd you up and kind of, was it that? Was it that that was the one, right? Where they okay, so, were involved a little bit? So it, I was just, it was um, a reality series and I was like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> they, they wanted to, you know, follow me around a little bit, but then it got weird. And so... <laughs> I didn't know. I was just like, like I wasn't one of the main characters, but then I went to this thing called the dinosaur weekend and then they were following me around and I was like, you know what, whatever. And then I, uh, there are like a lot of dirty secrets of uh, reality TV. Now there isn't any footage of me doing anything, you know, bad. Cause I was just like, it, it pretty much lasted for a week. Right. And then, and then there was like a phone call in the middle of the night. It was like, I, I was really nice. I just said, I, I don't like what's going on here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not digging this. Yeah, well, before I always thought reality TV was real. You know, I was like naive and innocent, and then so I was like, "Oh wait, this is this is." <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh, we have a question here. Uh, are there any dream projects you'd like to either act in or direct? Oh, so my fantasy what it would be to do a live action Shira. Yeah. Now Oh man, that'd be yeah. That's what I want to do in my life. I wish I could do that. Why not? Well, I don't have the rights to it, and also it might cost a little bit of money. Yeah. Uh who does have the rights to that? Oh, uh, I, I would have to look into that. I'd have to look company, into that. I think. What? What is it? The toy company who makes it. I think they have the right to. Yeah. Filmation. I... Filmation made the series, but then the toy company because the toy came before the cartoon. I know way too right, much. Right. Nerd alert. Okay. No, so look where you are. It's, it's, it's okay. Trust me. I'm um, with the nerds, right? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> also, oh, another one. Are you a Zack Snyder fan? Sure. Yeah. Uh, what's he done? I, 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 <laughs> what's he done? 
What's he done? You would love Sucker Punch. I haven't, I haven't. Oh, God, I feel so bad. I can talk directors all day. I don't. I don't. What else has he done? Zack Snyder's Justice League. Like the, it, it was the biggest oh, controversy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can talk about that. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Did you, I watched you, it. Did you like the the four hour length of it? I mean, I thought it was good. I thought the original was good. I thought they were both good. Uh, yeah, you both. can't say that here. I, I, I don't want to dismiss the original because he was part of it. So. Um, you, yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll give, I'll so give you that. I, just, I like his vision of it. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. I I just want to see another one. You know. I that. T- that's what I'm saying. That's what we're all saying. I, mean, I uh, want there to be the actual director's cut of Suicide Squad too. I don't think yes. we're going to get that. The air, I, the, the air cut, the air cut of uh of yeah, Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah, I think it's all, I think it's a tough predicament. Jared Leto's Joker is the best Joker, and <laughs> there's so much more to it in the original cut. It was more of a drama his story with a uh, Harley. Yes. I really want to know what that was. Um, <laughs> it's funny that I didn't expect you to to know that. Uh, I mean, there's this whole movement now, it, you know, because because Zach's cut was greenlit and you know so on and so forth. Now yeah. people are kind of looking back and being like, "Well, wait, we want the Suicide Squad." Yeah, David yeah. Ayer didn't get his his, yeah. his cut, and I think it's a little bit harder now because of uh, James Gunn doing the Suicide Squad, and that oh. comes out this month, yeah. you know, or yeah. next month or whatever it is. Um, yeah. So I think they don't want to confuse people by, but I, oh. what I think studios do is I think they underestimate the audience. I think they underestimate the audience and how smart they can be. Right. I think we could differentiate the two. I really do. Especially I if you put. I think you can, but I honestly, from my experiences working with people, I don't think they can. I, so, I'm just going to be honest here because like people okay. don't understand they don't understand like that the series the episodes are in order. Most people don't like here, most people don't understand how Google search works. I know that sounds crazy, but I get a lot of confusion. They're like, Tucky, how do I find your website? And I say, you right. do a web search on it. And they don't know what that is. <laughs> about 50% of people don't know how to do a web search. So I feel you. I think people who are attuned to entertainment and bullshit are like, yeah, know how to do stuff. But right. you know, I mean, a lot of people don't know, like I cast it. If I go to my friend's houses, well, I have to cast from my phone. And they're like, what is this magic? Right, right. <laughs> they, like, don't, yeah, they don't know yeah. how to cast anything. My mom I, has, I love my mom. You know, God bless her. My mom and dad, they have HBO, and, but they don't know how to <laughs> watch HBO Max. Cause, so I have my HBO Max on my phone and I have to go to their house for them to watch it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> speak, speaking of uh, speaking of your mom, she's helped you out a lot. Oh, she's wonderful. My daddy too. She helps you out with that. Well, I, I, I don't think I heard about what he what he's done, but uh, I know your mom helps with props and uh, something about the dining room becoming like a prop room. And, and yeah, the- yeah, my dining room is a prop room. Yeah, uh, people come in there and it's like a huge cache of ancient weapons and uh you know they're really surprised right so here here is you and some of those ancient weapons um so who is the the woman next to you so that's amanda k morales that was about the seventh day i knew her she's an actress from new york she auditioned to be in dagger kiss and i had been holding auditions for about a year okay and like all of a sudden out of nowhere she showed up and i she was just perfect okay yeah Yeah. she she i mean i i think you guys all killed it right i think you guys all killed it for what you were able to do right so it's not like you're working with a big budget you're not working with you kind of did this yourself um and as far as i'm concerned um you know i i was i was impressed and and thank you very much just can't believe it was successful because like you said we had so little to work with and right mm -hmm. i I just can't believe anyone was watching it i can't you know it's 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 great though i'm happy what is this here? Would you ever would you ever think about doing an episode of Batwoman or a Batwoman movie? Of course. Of course. What, what? I mean, who would say no to that? But where, but where you, I mean, I was actually kind of offended that nobody called me about Batwoman. Like, uh, you know. Right. Like, I here I am. I exist. I <laughs> I, I don't know why he's bringing Batwoman up though. And um apparently Mattel owns the rights to She-Ra. Okay. Okay. So Mattel. Um Mattel. 
So I, I do have a little clip. I do have a little clip that you uh, that you let me play uh, or you I allowed. sent you a bunch. Which one did you pick? I well, I did pick one. I cut a, I cut it a little bit. Yeah, uh, they were a little bit long. Well, it's it's certain. Th so okay, so YouTube's very strict about um, copyright and um, oh, Scandroid. Yeah, so so they'll flag me. I will. I mean, we'll get taken down mid interview. If you take um, down the pitch of the Scandroid, oh, that's I'll talk about. It. That's yeah, we'll talk about that after. Um, <laughs> but but here. It, so I do, I, like I said, I, I cut it up a little bit, but uh, yeah. so here is a scene from the from from the girl girl scene. I don't think I know how to French kiss, and I need you to teach me. Okay, teach you how? Well, demonstrate. Kiss me and show me how it's done. Okay. Wait. Shouldn't you be doing this with your girlfriend? Oh, Evan? She's too polite to tell me that my kissing skills could improve, but I know she wants me to be clear. But, okay, let's practice. Kiss me like you kiss her. How was that? Great. I am a bad kisser. Maybe you should. Okay, it's like you're pecking, like, mwah, mwah, little kisses, which is super sweet if that's what you're into. But that's no good. It's sort of like an extended version of kissing your sister. Ew. Yeah, it's not hot. Oh, that was amazing. Is that how it's supposed to be? Yes. You probably should have figured that out when you were like 13. Oh, I was kissing a lot of girls when I was 13. That's what boys are for lifting heavy boxes and practicing making out. Oh, you're a wizard. I can't wait to show Evan. Or is that too much? <laughs> Definitely try it on Evan. She'll love it. So this has been super fun and not at all boring, but I'm gonna go mingle. Um, why don't you go find Evan and show her all this fun stuff I just taught you? Oh, are you kidding? I have so many questions. What? <laughs> oh, look, my drink is almost gone. Why don't you get me another one and I'll go talk to people who aren't you. Ryan, you're the best friend a girl could have. Thanks. I know. <laughs> I love the dialogue, by the way. Thank you I, so much. I really do. I like I like the dialogue. That's why I chose that one. Uh, I, I especially like the the part about what men are for. Or yeah. what, what what guys are for? Uh, yeah. Is that is that something that you dealt with? Um, like what? when you were when you were growing up? Uh, I mean, have did you always know who you were? Men lifting boxes or bad kissers? Uh, <laughs> but both. Uh, did you ever? Did you ever? Both at the same time. Yeah. Did no, you I ever not know? I always knew I was gay. So I was four. So, so you always knew you never yeah. you never you were never dated a no. man or anything. No, wasn't an issue. Wasn't an issue. See, wasn't uh, an issue. And, and, and do you have any advice for people that that may be struggling with telling maybe their families or 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 whoever it is, um, you know who they are, and and do you have any advice uh, for someone? I would say that I can't say it's going to be like easy coming out because that's just like painful but uh like being gay is so much fun so much fun and it's everything you thought it would be and more everything you thought it would be and more yeah See, i was I, I was raised differently uh i was raised differently uh and, and i feel that it, that was in a good way is that i didn't see people for the color of their skin or who they liked or mm -hmm. you know what whatever I mean, it, it, I just never, I never grew up thinking like that. Um, so do you think there's a problem in the world where uh, we're too concerned with what other people are doing? Nah. Like, I, <laughs> no. No? No, not for me. I, I just, I mean, with regard to what? Like sexuality. So, so uh, for instance, uh, we, there's a problem with racism, right? So there's yeah. a problem with, with equality, um, especially when it comes to women. Uh, 
you know, equal pay, you know, whatever it is. Do you think that there's a problem in the world where, um, where, where maybe the, that was the wrong choice of words, whereas we're concerned with what other people are doing, but do you think that, um, we need to find a, a, a way to, to change our perspectives and kind of break old habits and, and raise our, maybe raise our children differently to not see, uh, someone for the color of their skin, for, for who they are attracted to. Uh, how do we break out of this mold that we seem to be in? Cause, uh, it, it seems like we're all pitted against each other. I think through conversation and through a willingness to have a competing narrative, okay. I can't remember who said that, but, uh, someone it was talking about um, Zionism and whatnot. And he said, we need to accommodate a competing narrative here. And so I, people just need to be talking to people they don't like. And it's hard, but you just, you just have to, which is communication is the most important thing. Talking is the most important thing. And all that's yeah. been shut down. A lot of that's been from Twitter, you know, because yeah. that's where the, the politics happens is, I mean, people who aren't on Twitter don't realize that like a lot of politics is coming from Twitter. That's yes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Also discussion of comic book movies, but politics is coming from Twitter and there's just this character count and there's no interaction. It's a lot of, people yelling at each other, a lot of people without their face, <laughs> their icon, just yelling at each other and saying horrible things. So we really need, well, it, we need shows like this where people are just talking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, very much so. And that's mm -hmm. what we love to do. We love to talk and we love to, uh, you know, break the mold and, and, and stuff like that. So um, good answer. I like that answer. Uh, so you, so I, uh, I commented on this earlier, but <clears throat> you have a nice little poster behind you. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, I, are you? How big of a, a Tarantino fan are you? Huge, huge. huge. I, I can recite everything. Now, how this happened here was was you know I'm on Room Raider on Twitter, and so I have to have my background look just right. So I'm so that is the cord concealer, the poster. It it hides all my, my cords and stuff. Uh, but I put the poster up, and then then I got you know set up with a guy who said what's your favorite movie and i said well it's jackie brown yeah. <laughs> and then, so we did it and he he had watched some of my stuff before and he knew that in my room i had a jackie brown poster so it's it's been a great friend to me everybody who sees it you know gets to type they, you know if somebody runs out of questions for me they can hey yeah. tell me about the jackie brown poster <laughs> yeah jackie brown rules <laughs> one of the best movies ever made you need yes. to watch it i think it's an underrated tarantino film everyone thinks when they think of Tarantino, they think of Pulp Fiction and Hateful Eight, Django. Uh, but Jackie Brown is, is I mean, Jackie Brown's amazing. No, more intellectually stimulating. But very much. <laughs> um, speaking of, of, of things like that, though, uh, so I was, uh, you would direct me to a certain website uh, of yours, and I ended up coming across something that I found very interesting. Oh, no, what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I saw, I saw this thing, and it was a wish list. Uh, so we went oh, out. And then to thank you for coming on the show, uh, we bought you. Uh, no. Yeah, we bought you uh, no. the girl. It was the first one on the list. So we got you the girl from Window Hills, a novel. Oh. Yes. So we bought that for you. Uh, oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And it should be oh there. I, cho I chose Friday, July 16th, as you can see here. Um, but I saw your little wish list. Uh, so to thank oh, you thank for coming you so on. Much. No, yeah, she's, she's one of my favorite authors. I've been waiting to read that book for. Hey, thank you. You didn't need to do that. This is like yeah. so nice of you. Oh well, my god, I get to read it now. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, thank you now so now you have something from the pop culture corner to you. Uh, oh, uh, at first, it, it was kind of confusing because it was like deliver to, and then it gave my address, and I was like, no, <laughs> yeah. I, do, I I don't want the book. And then I saw it. It was like you. And good thing your address is uh, hidden, by the way, because I was like, <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, but yes. So I just thank you for coming on the show. Uh, that we're not done yet, but I just wanted to say. Oh, that, nice. Uh, you. I really appreciate that. Like I said, I love Megan Miranda. She's such a great, great author. And yeah. oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. So so should be there soon. So uh, uh, I, I really I hope you enjoy it. Um, you will. You will. Any any projects, any projects uh, that you can talk about or anything that you're working on? I know the pandemic's been kind of uh, for some people, right. but so I'm not going to 
going to do anything new right now, but I'm working on a director's cut of the girl, girl scene movie that people are going to love. It's going to look different. A lot of people, we try to make it look like a VHS kind of movie, kind of like a trashy eighties video. <laughs> a lot of people didn't feel that so much. So we're going to make a version that just looks like a regular film movie. Okay. Um, so uh, speaking of the pandemic, so the pandemic uh it really did especially for actors uh actors directors i mean you name it uh or anyone in the the service industry yada 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 the list goes on and on and on um how did you adapt to to the pandemic how did you change um your style and did you did you do anything to kind of keep your yourself i want to say relevant right that's a kind of a weird word but um how did you how'd you adapt uh just to, to being kind of locked locked in your house well first off it's a big shock to think you're well you know like i am i'm really on twitter <laughs> like a lot and so i was like i was aware of what was coming back in january right so and i was aware of the severity of it so i think everybody you know thought it was going to be over with in a couple weeks or a couple months at the most so yes. It, but in, in in February, March, I was really struck with the fact that I wasn't going to have a career for at least a few years. So that I wasn't going to be able to act, wasn't going to be able to direct anything. So I just, there was like a little bit of a mourning period. I was, a lot of people just were in a job that wasn't going to be able to continue. And I've had to kind of accept that. But, you know, I'm going, it's, it's also an opportunity because I'm going to find something I'm really passionate about. And so that when I'm ready to start up again, it's going to be something I, I love. Right. Right. That's, yeah. a, that's, that's great. Uh, for, for, I mean, for people like us, uh, by the way, release the tucky cut. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> this, this person's the best, uh, always, always joining. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I mean, <sighs> as, as an actress, what's the, what's the most difficult thing that you've found uh, that you've had to deal with over the years? Oh, sexism and stuff. They just, it's really been good for me to have my own stuff to do because uh, it's really harder to discriminate me against me as an actress when, uh, you know, I'm overseeing everything. But the great thing is, is I pretty much only work with women is I just make sure that this is the best, safest environment for them is when they yeah. come to work with me. Right. And you know, I, I tell the, I, a lot, the, the movie I made too, or the girls were brand new, had never made a movie before in their lives. I'm sitting there going, oh man, they don't, they don't know what's coming. <laughs> they think this is what movie making is like. So it's, it's been great in the sense that I'm able to provide women with a space where they can work and be comfortable and they don't have to worry about anything happening. And if something were to happen, it would know that it would be taken care of immediately. Right. Okay. I mean, I know someone, and I just, I don't even want to get into how idiotic this is, but someone said something like a mildly inappropriate joke, just mildly like joke. And mm-hmm. it was stop, stop. Like we're stopping everything right now. No. Yes. That's, yeah. That's, okay. That's now like, we're starting up again, but no, that's like, no, you don't get to say stuff. Right. You know, right. But, you know and I even think like in a regular woke work environment, people are allowed to make, you know, these people get away with stuff. Um, and you just yeah. can't get away with stuff on, on my time. I love that. I, I love it. Uh, you, just, you, you just have to keep women safe. Okay. Yes. And I mean, there's all this, how far is too far and all I mean, this is a lot of room to debate. Just keep women safe. Keep them away from perverts. Yes. I, you keep know, women I, happy. <laughs> yes. I have, I have a sister. Uh, I have a sister and, you know, uh, I was shocked, you know, one day it's kind of like the episode of Brooklyn nine, nine, um, I'm a huge Brooklyn Nine Nine fan. I, just, I don't know. Yeah, why. Great. Um, <clears throat> but there's an episode where Amy and Jake. I forgot about that one. Yeah, the, the, I they they killed my brother. <laughs> what? He killed my brother. Oh, and and when yeah, when they're singing uh, uh, uh I, I want it that way. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I totally forgot about that part. Yeah. Um, but they're investigating um a woman who assaulted a male for um he allegedly or or uh at the time allegedly assaulted her 
um, and they're investigating it. And Amy goes into telling Jake uh, what she deals with on a day to day basis, um, whether it's, you know, men making snarky comments at her or cat calling or not taking her seriously. <clears throat> and, you know, over the years, uh, my sister and I are, are very close in age and she's told me some stories and uh, about the things that she's dealt with. She's a very young, very uh, good looking girl. And, uh, you know, it makes me sick that the, the people that, you know, are like me, not like me, I'm, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like them, but the, the people that are males, right? Straight white males, um, that think they can get away with stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's truly disturbing. Um, they think to, that because they do get away with it. And then, and, that, and that's part of the problem is right. Is that they do get away with it. Like, uh, you be, I live in a, I live in the city of Boston, you know, I'll, I'll be walking downtown and, uh, a, a beautiful woman will walk by and there's three guys that are maybe homeless. I don't know. They don't really look like they're too well-dressed, but they, they say some really weird, inappropriate things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, do you think that that that's going to get her attention where she's going to, Oh, here's my number. It's, it's, and, and it, and it's crazy to me that, cause like I said, I, I wasn't brought up that way. Um, and, and, and I was brought up like to, to hold doors for women and, and pull out the chair. And even that now I'm getting in trouble for. So it's like, I don't even know where I'm you supposed to be. You open the door for me any day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it, well, it, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Cause like I was, uh, this is prior to, to the past couple months, but, uh, you know, I, I was on a date with a, a girl and, uh, I, I pulled out the chair or opened the car door. I can't remember exactly what it was. And she was like, I can open my own door. And I was just like, ah. He sounds like a lot of fun. She was not a lot of fun. It didn't go. <laughs> yeah. We didn't. We didn't have a second date. Just put it that yeah, way. Yeah, wonder why. God. Yeah, but it's just like it's like. Th th there's also good people out there. Like there are good men out there. There there are good men. I promise. And I feel like uh, uh, we're kind of like lumped in with with these with these uh terrible people. And no, uh, you're no. You're not. women can tell the difference. No, you're absolutely not getting lumped in. Okay. I think I think there's the whole not all men hashtag. And it's like, duh, we know that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, there's no lumping in. You don't okay. need to worry about that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the thing is, I mean, you know, that's the discussion. I It bothers me that women <laughs> really want the doors open or the seat. You know, I kind of like it when men help me along. <clears throat> I help. I, I mean, I need it. You know, yeah. uh, I'm actually not as strong as a man. I think it's super cool when uh, men help me out physically. Right. Uh, yeah. So, you know, and, you know, it was funny because I was at this, I got involved in this mayoral campaign, right? And uh, it, it went well, but there was a losing party afterwards. So he didn't win. But it, it was like the party was better because he didn't win. Everybody could really cut loose. And I was trying to get back. I was trying to get across the room, but there were so many people. And so this guy just picked me up in his arms and then and was like carrying me to where I wanted to go. And then like halfway through, he froze and like set me down. He was so scared he had committed some kind of crime. Yes. And I was like, oh, like, dude, you were helping me. I was stuck. Yeah. You lifted yeah. me in the air, which is amazing that <laughs> you can lift a human in the air. You lifted me in the air <laughs> down where I wanted to be. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, it's good to know. It really is. It, 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 it's good to know. Um, so is, uh, you, I mean, you kind of touched on this already. Um, you yeah. mainly, you mainly feature women in your, in your, in your uh -huh. films or, or, uh -huh. or series. Um, uh, would you ever consider st starting something where you help, uh, young actresses, uh, kind of, you know, grow and, 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 and come into their own. And, um, you know, maybe later on in your career, uh, I know there are some like people, for instance, Shia LaBeouf has a <clears throat> school where he helps, um, inner city kids who, you know, normally wouldn't have access to, mm -hmm. uh, these resources act right. He, he, he had, there's a clinic, you know, there, he, a place where they can stretch their creative minds. Would you ever consider doing that for, maybe women or, or, or 
or young girls or or whatever. Oh, no, I love to I love to help out whenever I can. It's it's anytime anybody writes me for advice or asks for help, I mean, I'm there. And then all the mm. girls who are in my movies or TV series, I mean, I'm I'm there for them for the rest of their lives, whatever they right. need. They, they know they can call me up and I'll help them out. Or, you know, I'll just keep putting them in things. And right. you know, I am very, very much about, I help everyone out. I mean, not just women, but I especially like that I've been able to help out these uh, these these people who, you know, maybe wouldn't be getting it. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Um, <clears throat> oh, so you're talking it? about me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I, well, it, it, if I'm mistaken, it, I might be mistaken. I'm not sure. I can't remember if I read this about you. Were you nominated in the top 100 most attractive women? I was number nine. You were number nine. How did, what, what was that? I, I read a little bit about it. I couldn't remember if it was you uh, or, 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 or someone else, but I remember reading it and being like, wow, that's amazing. Well, it's after Ellen, so it's a website for lesbians. So okay. at the time the poll was taken, allegedly, Lesbians thought I was the ninth most attractive woman in the world. Hey, I, I didn't do it. No, no, I, no. You know how honored the, who won? Do you, do you remember who won? No, no, you didn't care. You didn't <laughs> it was care. somebody really famous, yeah, really famous. like Angelina but, Jolie or something. But to come in ninth, as, yeah, I know that's amazing. I was like, what do I do? I got like I was like I guess I'll go to Hollister. <laughs> oh God! True so, story. I was like, oh, what do I do? I just I guess I'll go to Hollister by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's so <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I hope people can see the, the Hollister joke in that. Yeah. I hope people know I'm not. Yes, no. I, 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 I think they know. Okay. I'd uh, have to say that because not everybody's, you know. Not on everyone's the on the level. Yeah, you're right. You're right. right. Um, so, so d I know you said you can't talk too much about it. I don't know where the line oh, I'll is. Talk about it. I'll talk about it. But uh, so, so what is the deal that you have with Amazon? So is it is it anything that you make goes there? What, 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 what's going on there? I don't know what I make goes there. Um, so far, everything I've made goes there. Okay. So they, they've taken it. They've liked everything. I mean, I even made like my, I have a Shakespeare duology of short films and those both got on there. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And so, Hey, they keep taking it all. I mean, if they keep, <laughs> they want it, they can have it. I mean, well, arguably Amazon's arguably one of the biggest companies in the world are, if not the biggest company in the world. Um, and that's not just for, for, uh, media. I mean, this is for everything, right? Uh, so, you know, do you feel at all as if you're not? not I don't want to say lucky, but do, I mean, are you? Yeah. Are you great? Are you grateful oh, to Amazon? Yeah. yeah. Oh hell yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, because when all the stuff first came out, it was popular just in with gay girls, which was mm -hmm. great, and it was popular that way. But this Amazon made it go mainstream, right? Yeah. And, 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 and I mean, look at nowadays, uh, I think you really did help pave the way for uh -huh. whether you know it or not. Uh -huh. I think you helped pave the way for this new generation because now we're looking around and there are a little bit, more, there's more and more and more, uh, representation in Hollywood. Um, yeah. and, and it's becoming more prevalent. Uh, some people look at it as like a disease. Um, I look at it as if it's no, that's the real world. Right, uh, as the world becomes more diverse, um, Hollywood needs to become more diverse, and Hollywood has a problem, especially the Academy, with sticking to what they, what they know. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the Academy needs to die out. Is is what I always say. Okay. Um, they, they, not die, not yeah, like that. But yeah. we need a new, new set of people in there because, um, mm -hmm. you know. That there are these films and the, the these series, these projects that are that are remarkable, and they get unnoticed uh, yeah. be, because the academy is set in their ways. And I and I don't think that's fair. And I don't. Uh, what what do what would you do? What would you do uh, if 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 
what would you <laughs> it's a stupid question it's a weird question to phrase um but how what, what changes would you make if you were if you if you could make any changes to hollywood what would the changes you would make oh damn nobody's ever asked me that oh damn ah. you have an answer prepared oh damn um what changes would i make i would make um it easier because basically everybody knows everybody in hollywood yes i would make an effort to just in terms of financial benefit i would try to find people who are better writers <laughs> <laughs> I would go, hey, instead of letting my bro here make a movie, maybe there, maybe out there somewhere there's somebody who uh, knows how to write. And I get it it's because they get sent all these horrible, horrible scripts. But that's what I do is I make an effort to reach outside, find better writers and directors. And, but I'd start with the writers, for sure. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, that's my answer. I mean, every industry needs to change all kinds of stuff. But my very first thing I would say to Hollywood is like, God, get some new writers in. Yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. for sure. Really, there's so many movies that could have been awesome that weren't because you know they somebody wrote it who really had no business writing anything. But yeah. you know, I'm sure people are coming into your mind. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I just watched that movie Infin uh, Infinite In Infinite on yeah. um, Paramount yeah. Plus. That yeah. movie, that movie could have been so so amazing, but the right. dialogue and the writing just right. absolutely ruined it and uh you know this that was paramount plus's that like they were marketing that to be like this is the movie that's going to get us on the map yeah and i and i was like all right cool it has mark Wahlberg. it has uh Ch chitwell elephor or however you pronounce his name i was like i'm, I'm excited cool basis right people that live forever i'm in let's watch it right and, right. and they set them up for failure because it's not the acting it's the problem it's not the uh, cgi that's the problem it's the dialogue between characters um mm -hmm. and it really really takes you out of the film yeah. um and for me a good film you need to be able to get lost in the story right you need to be able to get yeah. lost in the in the overall um the world that they're building right so uh that's one thing i think you do well thank you yes I'm so try. <laughs> you try so <laughs> Critics actually liked your films. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that like ironically, right? I have this written down too, so pardon me. Uh, critics, critics liked your film, but the audience seemed to be the problem. They review bombed you and got your movie taken out of Amazon. This is what I was referring to earlier. Yeah. Um, so what is a review bomb? What does that mean? Oh, I don't... Oh, it's when they, a group of people... I don't want to say the word... Okay. But they do the same thing to a lot of women fronted movies. A group of people, let's just say the kinds of guys who stormed the Capitol, uh, they get really upset and they just decide to go to on you can rate a movie on Internet Movie Database or on Amazon and give it one star without ever having seen it. You can right. also, and they do this, register like 20 accounts or more on IMDB and go vote for like 20 one different star. times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they don't watch it. They just go in and give it one star and they get all their buddies to do it. And then on Amazon, you can just write a review and you don't have to have watched it. And they, they you know, they do the same thing. I mean, you know, one of the, rev the reviews either say, well, many of them say, I didn't watch it and here's why it's terrible. And they give it one star. And then many of them say, uh, I watched the first 15 minutes and here's, here's why it's terrible. <sighs> It's always for um, a political kind of reason. It's always for like a very gendered reason. Right. They're very angry that it's like this woman movie. They're very angry that, and I don't understand this, that the it's not a dirty movie. Right. Yeah. So I believe that was the impetus of the one star bombing is that some guy or guys got mad because it wasn't dirty. So... <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and I don't know what to say. I mean, I so it wasn't like, pornographic, is what you're saying. So what? it wasn't it wasn't pornographic. So they were mad. Yeah, it's not even remotely in that direction. You know, there's there's just some love scenes, but it's nothing more than you would see after ten o'clock on a network, right? Just some romantic stuff. Right. And they they were upset that there wasn't more than that. But I mean, if 
you know, you can find that stuff anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. And also if, if I had done that, if that was what I was looking for and I didn't find it, I, I would just, I wouldn't like leave a bad review because I didn't, you know, get off on a movie. Right, I, I, would, right. I, um, I I have a life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, <laughs> yeah, geez. Yeah. What, what a world that we live in. What yeah. a world that we live in. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> you, you've done a lot of risque, ri, ri, risque style things though. Um, you, you have scenes that do test the line, test, um, test, T tests yeah you test the line um you've done scenes that 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 i think are i think are are wonderful right i think that they are uh <laughs> i think we need someone to challenge right we need someone to keep challenging and and and, and um invigorating audi audiences and i think you 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 do that um you know for for instance uh the the love scenes between um the characters right the lesbian characters uh some people really do get like scared of that right they don't they don't know what to think they don't know what to uh to, to feel and and maybe that's um you know uh, that that's probably something to do with how they were raised and 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 that's a problem and uh you know i i really do hope that we can we can change that somehow I just don't know how. Is that, is that a question? No, it's <laughs> not. It's not a question. It's, it's, it's more of a. It's more of like a de de defeated, a defeated feeling. Is, is because because you and I, you and I could sit here and speak about it for days and months, um, and and never really get to the bottom of it. Never change, truly change well, anything. We're coming at it from two ways. One is the the conservative you know, just the regular anti-gay thing. And then it's, there's this other new thing of angry uh, people, the I word, the two syllable I word I don't want to use that um, just hate women. Mm -hmm. And they hated me because I wasn't performing this thing they wanted to see. So right. I'm, I'm getting it, you know, I'm, it's two different things going on here. And uh, so, I mean, like the conservative the Christians, which I'm just going to say that the evangelical Christians who hate gay people, like, I'm not worried about them. They've right. been there. They're always going to be there. They're yep. never going away. I think it's the new thing that scares me, which is just this ha vile hatred of women. And then it turns into hatred of lesbians, basically. Yeah. 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 People are scared of what they don't understand. But I think this is specifically uh, this certain type of person, you know, um, it's, I, I think they're just very, they're very threatened by people who I think, I don't understand the psychology of incels or what, but they're, they're causing a lot of trouble clearly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you so. think, <clears throat> do you think that, do you think that politics has any place in Hollywood? We've been to, we, we've been talking to, so we had uh, Owen Glauberman. Uh, he's the chief film critic of Variety, right? Yeah. Uh, we also had Gary Gray on. Um, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday. I I, I can't. Remember. All the days are blurring now. Uh, <laughs> but we we no, it was the day that you were supposed to originally be here, but my my um, okay. ceiling burst open with water. Oh, awesome! Yeah, I, I sent the video to your your publicist. Is it? Yeah, Todd. Yeah. I was like, this is why I can't do anything right oh, now. No. <laughs> it was water coming from the lighting fixtures and oh my God. clearly like, you know, electricity and water. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> that was my fault, by the way. My fault. Well, not my fault, but you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shit. What was I saying now? Um, lighting fixtures. No, you asked if there's a place for politics in Hollywood. Oh, and the oh. answer would be that all art is political. And if it's not, then what the hell are you doing? Well, well, political statements, but all art has to be political and it has to challenge the audience. Okay. But do you think that the, the current political climate is dangerous? Cause I do. Yeah, of course. So why would we want to include that in Hollywood? So I think I, so for, for me, for, for me particularly, right. <clears throat> You're saying represent one side of it more. 
I don't say that again. Are you saying that it's dangerous to represent all sides of the political argument? No, uh, maybe no, no. I'm saying it seems like, uh, for instance, uh, the only way you'll win an Academy Award is if you make a movie about, oh. like, let, let's say, the trial of the Chicago Seven or Minari. I dig. I dig. Yeah. Well, <sighs> it just it's, yeah. it's my answer would be yeah. So you're saying is Hollywood politicized? And yeah. Yeah, in totally the wrong direction. And they're virtue signaling like crazy, yes. which is messed up. And they're right. pretending to be woke. And they're, that's kind of worse. That's worse than not being woke. It's just this wokeness, this fake. Yeah, I hate it. I agree yeah. with you. With the thing you're trying to say, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, woke Hollywood. Uh, yeah, is, yeah. Is, I think it's, it's not. It's not at all. It's for, instance, it's for instance, you see that. Like for instance, let's let's take a Marvel movie for example. Mm -hmm. What they'll do is they'll take a character who was written yes in the 1940s when most of the characters are drawn or written as a white male, right? Mm -hmm. We get it, right? Uh, that that's that's the times that they that's the times. Mm -hmm. You know, 1940s, 1950s. Mm -hmm. that, that's what was happening, right? That's why Captain America is a white guy with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah. Like that that's why. Um, but they the Hollywood likes to take these characters now um who are this and turn it in they'll they'll gender swap. Yeah. So but now not only will they gender swap, but they'll change the character to a black female when it was mm -hmm. like like James Bond, right? They want a black female James Bond. <clears throat> Tell me how that works. Do you think it could work? Because I know that you're an advocate for it all, but like, do, do you feel that they should be doing that with those kind of things? Or should we just write an original character? <laughs> That's what you should do. Right. I mean, Charlize Theron did it with Atomic Blonde. She said she wanted to play James Bond. She did something way better than playing James Bond. Okay? That's Atomic what I'm saying. Blonde. That's and that's what I'm saying, and 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 people don't seem, to, and and it, it's this and it's this constant, constant, constant like cog in the in a machine where it just goes round and round and round, and it's like, how can we be politically correct? And that's all they're concerned about. No one's concerned about making good stories anymore. They just want to appeal to the masses, and uh, it's 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 make. I, I feel like it's it's saturating Hollywood in a bad way where. It, it seems like everything is the same. It's just, how do we not offend you? I'm scared I'm going to get, I'm going to get in trouble because of the stuff you're saying. What? So it's no. like, it, like, like, that's the messed up thing is I like, I'm even scared to respond to what you're saying. Cause I'm scared. I'm going to get in trouble somehow, which I probably will, even though I haven't <laughs> said anything. Uh, but do, do you know what I'm talking about? I do. I do. Yeah. So, um, and I don't mean to. I don't mean to like bring up anything that's gonna. You know. No, and you're not. And you're not. No. That's just like it's. That's what this is. What I mean is we can't have the conversation. So uh, I feel like I'm treading. I'm. Tre I'm. I don't want to offend. It. If, if, if something I say makes someone feel bad, that's not my intention. I want people to feel yes. good about what I'm gonna say. So I feel like white people and white men have been served plenty. And um, that change shouldn't be threatening to white people or to men. Okay. That it should be like, okay, cool, right? But it, there is a very certain point where you go, this is ridiculous, okay? Yes. So what I'm talking about is the point where it becomes ridiculous. But generally, I like things broadening up. I like things changing. Okay, so yeah, me generally, I like things changing, but... You read stuff and you go, oh my God, for real? Yeah. Um, I just, you know, like there's the late, the latest thing is should only gay people play gay characters? And I'm right. just like, what the hell? Right. What right. the hell? It's so we're it's like we're actually working backwards now. Right. You know, like progressing backwards. Only gay people can play gay characters. Does that that would sort of mean that I guess it's that you know only straight people can play straight people but i'm like 
that that's like offend that's offensive to me in many ways one is that like i can't handle it if a straight person's playing a gay person like i'm gonna have some kind of psychic meltdown right yeah, right i mean right. my life is not going to be made any bit better if a gay person's playing a gay character i mean it's <laughs> cool to have more gay celebrities to look up to yeah yeah but, yeah, 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 yeah but i mean i mean like uh, no, no. Right. That's, that, like that, was a... the thing, that, that was the thing I saw most recently that I could talk about here and comfortably was, you know, and I think another guest who came on probably wouldn't feel comfortable talking about the gay thing. But since I am gay, I'm just going to go ahead and say that that's just fucking crazy. Good. That's just fucking crazy. Good. Good. Because, <laughs> I mean, there was that thing with Scarlett Johansson, right? Where she was going to play a trans. Uh, I don't know if it was a, a trans female or a trans male that, that I don't know which way it went, but um, there was a, just an absolute outrage. And it was like, no, we need to have a trans person in the role. And I was just, I, I just, I didn't know, I didn't understand the reasoning behind it. But then again, like, who am I to say anything? Right. I'm not going to touch that, but no, you, you don't have to touch. That. I'm just I'm using it as an that. example. I'm not touching that. I think a lot of the problem that people had with on, on with it on the other side <clears> was that the character wasn't actually trans; it was a lesbian. So there was this big argument because uh, a lot of people in the lesbian community were going, you know, wait, no, you're canceling us because you're saying this character is trans and she's just a lesbian, and now you're saying a woman can't play a woman, you know. So so there was this huge fight about it. So like I said, I'm not getting near it. Uh, what I will say is I've tried to cast trans people. I've been successful one time. It's hard to find people. Like I, people think that like you can just like order up an actor <laughs> on Grubhub. Like, you just get a yeah. There's an right. act, actor and, hub. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you really can't. <laughs> I mean, like like if I had wanted to cast a trans person in my movie, I know because I tried. I couldn't. It was like actually impossible. But I mean, I did. I did have a trans person in the first iteration of my TV series, and that was great. You know, right, he was great. Right. I was great having him around. Right. And I mean, I want to speak up for the people who like. You know, it's like you just actually can't find people to fit the bill for everything, and so yeah. it's called acting for a reason. And and that's my point, right? That's where it's can, I, can I say another thing? I'm wait. That no, I'm you're not allowed to say people. anything anymore. Wanting to put actors and actresses into the same acting category is such a bunch of bullshit. Okay. No. Yeah, what do you mean? Like what do you mean by actor that? Actor and actress. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I am so mad about that because and we're working backwards again. You have to have a separate category for actresses because women don't get as many parts and they definitely don't get as good of parts as men do. So, of course, you have to have a separate category, you know, and it, like I said, we're, the woke movement is actually taking us back. Now, I'm like a liberal here, you know, I'm like to the left of Bernie. OK, not really. I just like saying that so that people <laughs> get the idea. So I like to say I'm to the left of Bernie, but I'm seeing things go too far. And then when you're saying best actor and best actress have to merge and become one category, basically what you're saying is only men are going to get recognized from now on. Yeah. Okay, so, that was that was my last. No, no, no. But there, what what state is doing that? Because I I know, or what a, award? There has showed... been a, there people have been suggesting that people do that. Like they want the SAG Awards to do it, and they want you know the Academy to do it. Okay, I find that just absolutely outrageous. So, <clears throat> um, because I, I, but, but then again, it's like it, it's it's back to that mindset. It's like they don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, or they don't know how to. It's like they it's they they need to I think they need to be educated more on 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 the situations. I don't think you need to do that. I don't think you need to combine uh I don't think best actor uh I I just don't think that's a, there's a place that I don't think that makes a difference. I don't think Instead that Instead of listening that, to all voices in the room or listening to the loudest voices in the room. Right. Right, the small minority that's yelling the loudest, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and that doesn't mean maybe the small minority that's yelling the loudest is the one we should be listening to, but maybe, uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe. who knows? But I'm just saying, just because someone's being loud and causing the most trouble doesn't mean you should be listening to them, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, so we're, I mean, we're almost about uh, about out of time. <laughs> this has been, I have so many more questions I want to ask you though. Oh, so, no, 
Oh, this is so much fun to talk to you. Yeah. So, I, well, I guess we'll have to bring we'll have to we'll have to bring you back again. Oh, oh, so, that sounds terrible. Sounds, sounds really it sounds pretty terrible, right? <laughs> coming terrible. here, co coming here again. Oh my God, I hate it. Do you still live in Kentucky? I do. I'm in Kentucky right now. So, Kentucky last, behind me. I was gonna say, I because it's not Hollywood behind you. <laughs> that's good. That's uh, Kentucky. <laughs> Um, is that that's that's where my final question comes from? So the name Tucky, where did it come from? Uh, well, of course it came from your your parents, but it, yeah, it's just it, a Kentucky, Tucky. I think that's is that is, uh, no offense. Is that your real name, I, or is I, it a stage name? Security number. I mean, what? I no, <laughs> yeah, my name's Tyler. Right, but people call me Ty. I don't. I, I'm. You know what I mean. So you see, where I'm getting out of here. I'm just saying it's a very unique name. I've never heard that name before. And I like what it. What I like to do is come up with different stories as to how I got it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So one, one is oh gosh, one is you know um, that people people like they think they're really clever, right? Right. So they go, "Do you have a brother named Ken?" You know, because my name's Tucky. So they go, do you have a brother named Ken? Ken Tucky. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It kills me. And so, and so what I do, yeah, I know, right? I say, no, but I have a sister named Barbie. <laughs> and then they just stare at me. Like, for the longest time, then they go, are you serious? Say, no, idiot. Stop in the head. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's my name. It's short for Kentucky. I, I really no love the name. Story about it. That's why when when I got the email right um, about you coming on, I was like, Tucky. That's like the coolest name I've ever heard. Like that's oh, oh simply God. the coolest name because like it's you know what are names right? What are names? What 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 name is normal? Adam, Jack, Tyler. <laughs> Right. Well, who's to say what name is, you know, but Tucky is so, so unique. I don't think I've, I've literally, you're the only person ever. I think you might be the only person ever with that name. So yeah. that that's something that, oh. right, right there. That's amazing. You, you're, you. you're Thank so you. unique. You're, you're a beautiful, beautiful person uh, from are. inside and outside. Uh, and I, and I really, I, I, don't ever stop doing what you're doing because oh, you're paving the way. You. And thank you yeah. for the book and all my love to you and the family. Of course. Thank you. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll definitely work something out where we can bring you back. Uh, cause I, I still have plenty of questions. Uh, we, I've, I have literally a book full of them. So, uh, <laughs> yes, I, I, I come prepared. Uh, what can I say? Clearly, um, clearly. And well dressed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know this. I appreciate it. Of course, and and you as well, uh, but yes. So, where can people? I, I I did include all your links in the description okay. uh, to your website, to your Twitter, to your Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do Instagram because I didn't know if you used it. Um, I just kind of like copied it, copied the links yeah. from the website. Uh, but where can people find you uh, when you're not uh, on the Pop Culture Corner? I am at TuckyLins.com <laughs> and TuckyLins.com, GirlGirlScene.com, and my handle on everything is Tucky Williams. So I'm on Instagram and Twitter uh, and Facebook, <clears throat> kind of. And on, uh, on on Facebook, it's the Tucky Williams. That's okay. We'll see. I have my personal Facebook, which you can just follow me on my personal one because I'm I'm nice, right? So right, that's you're nice. Yeah. But if you want to follow the official, then it's a the Tucky Williams. Uh, Thank you for okay. noticing that. But it's TuckyWilliams.com, but Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Okay. I'm I will love I love talking to people. I love interacting in the comments and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so so you know, after after you know we're finished this month, uh we have, you know, I think we have like four or five more people uh that we get to bring in uh and and you know try to raise some more money. But uh the the summer is definitely uh, more a little bit more wide open, uh, so I would love to coordinate with you and and get you back on here with the the rest of the team, um, and and be able to, you know, get your uh, the the rest of our team like we're very diverse, right? So there's me, the straight white male. 
Then there, I have a, 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 a black co-host. I have a Pakistani co-host. I have a Spanish co-host. So we're very diverse. Um, so we would love to, to all get together and talk with you. And um, you're just an amazing person. Oh, thank you. I've just had the best time talking to you. You're, you're a lot of fun. Yeah, I try. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. I try every other day. Uh, every other day. <laughs> you're doing a great job. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's run through some because I, I down I brought a lot of these pictures and I didn't use any of them. So <laughs> this is you. That's me. This is you. Yes. This you're in there somewhere. There's a lot of blonde hair mixed in there, yeah. and you're in there. Yeah. This is my favorite. Oh yeah. What is that, by the way? So I'm in a Star Trek original series dress. I was gonna say that's definitely Star Trek something. Yeah, that's that's um that's um uhura so i'm uhura there and it's a next generation gun though okay yeah uh, so i'm not a huge star trek guy i actually like the new movies i don't care for the old shows i know uh, burn me at the stake but whatever. oh no i absolutely i think one of my favorite movies is uh into darkness oh, and that's, yeah Love that's it. that's absolutely one of my favorite movies I've, i memorized that one but that dress is the dress from into darkness that uhura okay. was. oh beautiful yeah. uh so this next picture, I mean, if if you weren't, if you didn't, if we were on the same team, mm -hmm. this is, I, oh. I mean, you literally blew me away. Oh. Literally. literally. And then we got you here again. Is that, that wait, did, how did that end up in there? Did you send me this one? No. I didn't say, how, what is, here's you again. <laughs> I like this one. This one. Oh. There's a there's a couple of variations of this one, um, which I like. And then who you have a this this photograph? Uh, where was it taken? This was in Louisville, Kentucky. I was gonna say because the the mount I could see like the hills in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, I drove cross country and I ended up going through Kentucky. Kentucky is actually pretty beautiful, um, especially like like right here at the the kind of like the sunset like the one sunsetting. Um, I, I mean, I didn't get to stop too many places, but um, it's it just, the, people would be amazed at when you, when you see this country. Mm -hmm. um, people always want to go to, you know, Europe or go to Australia, Hawaii, but they always forget that we actually live in a really diverse and gorgeous country. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. for real, like it, it, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, all right. So thank you for letting me get those throw those pictures oh, kind of awkward, I know it's with you <laughs> um but all right guys <clears throat> this is my voice here um but all right guys till next time uh thank you Tucky, for joining us uh this has been such a pleasure this will not be the last time we see of you um and remember guys to donate please donate to my mother's uh tribute uh foundation uh we're going to be trying to help one woman per year um because insurance covers a lot but it does not cover everything. Trust me. Trust me. So the goal is to help one woman uh, for the next five years uh, and then double it every five years. Uh, so if you can, donate all of our membership fees, all of our super chats. Pretty much any money that we earn throughout this month goes towards that. Uh, so it'd be nice to get some extra donations so we can reach our goal. It's just $500 um, and I'll be matching that $500. So thank you guys so much for being a part of the show today. Next up uh, on Saturday, we have Brandon Spink uh, from Fear Street Part 2. He was also in Batman v Superman as young Bruce Wayne, and he's a good friend of mine. Uh, so we can't wait for that. Till next time.